the number one, and I do mean this sincerely, the number one thing that we have to look at when it comes to spiritual awakening is, is there a self? Is there an I? Is there a me? Is there an individual human being inside or showing up somehow as these bodies? Why is this so important? Because no matter what happens, no matter what is seen, no matter what is realized, no matter what kinds of awakenings or spiritual experiences show up, when we still imagine that there is a separate human being, a person here, an I, it's all for naught. The belief that we are separate, that we are an I, covers everything over and does not allow for clear seeing. It does not allow for true awakening and realization. When we still think we're an I, we see everything through that mindset through that filter. I call it the, the glasses of mud. When you look through mud, all you see is mud. When the illusion that the eye is a real entity, a genuine thing, evaporates when it dissolves, then the mud is cleaned off of those glasses. The conditioning that colors every thought, every idea, every feeling, every experiencing, sensory, intuitive, physical, and otherwise, is removed. So take that, take that idea right there and apply it to, well, wait a minute, I've had all these great realizations, I've had all these um, spiritual experiences, I, I realized oneness, I, I realized space. I saw myself in all the other human beings here on the planet. I saw God. God spoke to me. Well, there it is. Me. I. Everything is colored by the belief in an I until there's no longer that belief. This is the foundational awakening principle. Now, once that's in place, once there is the genuine, what I call, direct intuitive experiencing that there is no I, no me, no self, no person. Once that has occurred and stabilized, then all bets are off. Anything can happen at that point. <laughs> I certainly saw that here. And in speaking with other people who have woken up from the I illusion, all bets are off their experiencing then became whatever it was and it, it not always had anything to do with what was going on over here. You have to see that you're not a real person. You have to see that there is no I, there is no me. Because without that you are constantly looking at everything from the reference point of that false idea. And that false idea then colors everything, and it colors it black. It colors it dark gray. It colors it opaque. It's not real, the I. You are not a person. <laughs>